Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Morning. Morning. Morning <laughs> for everyone who has a morning. Um, so we're going to uh, do some meditation today. Um, if so, meditation traditionally is done um, seated. But if any one of you feel heaviness or symptoms in your pelvic floor, I recommend you to lay down instead and take a pillow under your hips. Um, so you choose, either you can sit cross-legged and, uh, and do like a traditional meditation seat, or you can lay down. So you choose, and then we will get going. And I'm really excited about today's class and the type of uh, breathing and sound that we are going to practice because it is highly effective for loosening up not only fascia but also muscles in your chest, which will also affect, of course, your pelvic floor. So you choose your, your seat and I sit on a pillow. Uh, it makes it more comfortable to elongate the spine. So maybe you want to do the same. You, you can, of course, sit on a chair too. So you choose your positioning. And then just starting off with aligning the pelvis, the rib cage, just as we do in hypopressives, we can take the opportunity now to tune into the, the optimal alignment because we're going to take many breaths here. So we want the diaphragm to be in relation to the pelvic floor op in an optimal position. So also make sure you take your head slightly back so that your ear, shoulder and hip are in line if you are seated. <clears throat> So instead of sitting more like this, which is very easy to do these days, we want to first align the shoulders with the hip and then the ear. So we're not breaking that line. And then lastly, you can put your tongue up toward the roof of the mouth. And it, you take it slightly backwards so that it really goes up. So if you start with the tongue by your teeth, you take it back and then it goes up and you let it just rest there. So this is an optimal alignment. Closing the eyes, just letting your hands, arms rest wherever you feel is good for you today. And let's start with some lateral breaths because that is what we will use in this type of humming bee breath that we will be doing using also our voice which makes these vibrations in the body and especially in the chest in the rib cage but also in your head and face and of course that will affect the chains down toward the pelvic floor too so if you wish to put your hands on your rib cage you can do that to connect with your lateral breathing here. So you inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and empty fully without forcing. Good. Inhale through the nose. <clears throat> so take your time with the breathing. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a bit of a cough. And if you wish to place your hands behind the back now, you can take the back side of the hands and put them on the back side of the rib cage. <coughs> and you just continue to breathe. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, into the hands. <clears throat> 
So let's do <laughs> five more repetitions of the lateral breathing. And you can hold your hands wherever you feel it's supporting you to deepen the breath. Great. So whenever you have finished that last exhale, you can start to relax your arms down. And we're going to go into the humming bee breath. I want us to be able to do quite many rounds so that we get into it. And maybe you have not tried this before. Um, maybe you have. It doesn't matter. You will get all the information now that you need. So I've already mentioned that the humming bee breath is about creating vibrations through sound and breath. And we do that really within like our own bubble. So two very, very foundational things for this breathing is to turn off the ears or uh, any, any sounds. So you're going to use one finger to put, not inside the ear, but there's like a little thing that you can hold. This one. So you just push it and close. But don't do it, do it yet because you haven't heard all the uh, guidance that you need. <clears throat> but we want to use one finger to close the ears. And then we're going to only breathe through our nose. So we're going to keep our mouth closed. We're going to keep our eyes closed. And this makes this breathing kind of intimate because it's just you hearing your own voice through this breathing, which is similar to a humming bee. So what we'll do is I'll just show you one round and then we'll do many rounds together. And of course, you can take a break. You can shift position from sitting up to laying down or from laying down to sitting up. This is what it's going to look and sound like. And I'm finishing up quicker uh, than I would have done normally. So we really want to elongate that exhalation at the same time creating this sound that causes these vibrations, uh, which will affect, again, the fascia, the muscles, and everything in the rib cage, all the breathing muscles. So... Mm. You, you do this, let's start with 10 rounds and they should, you know, the, the exhalation should be really long. The inhalation does not have to be as long. Of course, if you can elongate it, please do. You will probably elongate it because you do it in through the nose. And then we'll just, uh, come back and do like a, a check-in with each other. Because I want you to not think about like, what is Philippa saying something now? So once you're done with 10 rounds, you just take your hands down, you can keep your eyes closed and you continue to breathe lat lateral breaths and you just observe the effect of this practice. Okay, so whenever you're ready, let's start. So you just take an inhale and then you exhale and make the sound. Close your eyes. Thank you. 
So take your time, finish up the rounds. If you're still going, you probably can't hear me. <laughs> if you are already done, just continue to breathe deeply into the lungs. And notice any type of sensations arising in your rib cage, in your face, in your arms, shoulders, neck throat and notice how these deep breaths are feeling now is there a difference is there no difference So we're going to do five more rounds. And this time, I saw some of you sitting like this, which is kind of, um, um, it, you has, have, have to activate your arms a lot here. So I want you to be thinking of your posture coming from your pelvis all the way up through the spine to the top of the head. Here is your elongation and activation. Otherwise, we want to be relaxed. We want, just imagine like water is coming on the top of your head. 
just going it's warm water so it's just making everything else in your body soft so you can try to hold your arms i mean we need to activate them because we need to hold our ears like this <laughs> but we don't want to have them like this <clears throat> more like this and maybe you can just think about your jaw your neck everything around here how can you kind of become softer in doing this so let's do five more rounds and maybe you can deepen both the sound and the breathing now elongating just one or two more seconds and also making maybe a darker sound to really connect to your root a dark sound is coming from the root which is our pelvis so try and see for some it it comes more natural to be more like and for for some it's more natural to be like and we want to move towards that darker sound so five more rounds in your own uh, breathing rhythm and then we'll just come back and connect again so whenever you're ready you close your eyes you put your hands on your ears and you breathe in and start Coming back to the lateral breathing, relaxing the jaw, and placing the tongue up toward the roof of the mouth. Taking a couple of more breaths here. And let's finish this class just because we've warmed up with the voice and the breathing with an ohm which is also creating a vibration uh, that the yogis say are connected to also the universe vibration so if you want to join me we're just going to do one single ohm so we're gonna breathe in and then the sound is oh and we try to again elongate that so just wherever you are in your breath you empty the lungs exhale 
Inhale through the nose. And start when you're ready. Bowing forward, thanking yourself for taking the time and space to practice a deeper connection with your body and breath today. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely day. Take care.